Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what's your love story in the next seven days. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 6th of March, 2023. Time here in Marseille, France is 12.04 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Water Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same water sign. Okay, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. What's your love story in the next seven days? Ace of Wands and Reverse at the bottom of the deck, okay. So, water signs. Please bear in mind that rules can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with currently romantically. Wheel of Fortune indicates a second chance. Hmm. However, with the Four of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles here, There's somebody who wants to have a second chance in this connection, but Four of Pentacles not really opening up to expressing that, right? Four of Pentacles can indicate somebody being closed off and Eight of Pentacles here. I see what it says. It could be you or this person, but there's somebody here in the next seven days just putting their heads down and basically focusing on work, still holding on to this connection, but not going to do anything about it, even though wanting a second chance. I feel like two cups and one can indicate a separation, so most likely you and this person has been separated. And we've got the two ones here, a choice to ask for a second chance or a choice to, be, um, con to continuously to continuously be closed off and just focus on themselves, focusing on your work. Ace of Pentacles and Love Verse. A decision. I feel like it could go either way, right? With the two of wands. Same goes to the Wheel of Fortune as well. The wheel can spin in any direction. So that means it could go either way. Um, someone, you or this person is going to still be in the midst of deciding whether to continue being closed off for pentacles and focus on your work or they focusing on your work or to actually reach out offer something here right ace of pentacles in reverse but it's in reverse because there is a delay because there's some sort of hesitation of reaching out um, or offering something to someone you offering to this person or this person offering it to you but right now, this moment took cups and lovers. feels like you and this person are currently separated and not being on the same page. And seven of pentacles in reverse, four swords in lovers, and the hangman in reverse. An energy of, I feel like in the past, there has been a decision that was being made in regards of letting go of this connection. I don't need this dress. Let me just let go of this connection. Now I see that it's not going to work out anyway. Both of us will never be on the same page. But then in the next seven days, there will be doubts, right? Two of Wands. Did I make the right decision or not? Should I? Should I have offered? Should I have accepted? The Wheel of Fortune, again, it feels like, you know, wherever the, the wheel, there's an energy of, like wherever, wherever the wheel is gonna spin, uh, is wherever the wheel is gonna spin, I'm going to kind of accept it for what it is, right? The wheel of fortune also can indicate second chance in love for some of you. Water signs, if you are single, 
in the next seven days or so. It could be longer than that because timing in tarot is not very accurate and also uh, it's a general reading. So some of you that could be a chance encounter. If you do put yourself out there, but for those of you, if you're closed off, Four of Pentacles, if you're if you close your heart chakra and you're just focusing on yourself, on your work, then it could be something important, like a connection that's important that could just kind of pass you by without you even realizing it because this person, if you look at him, he or she is not gender specific, just like literally focusing on carving out this, this pentacle, right? So some of you, there could be a chance for you to meet somebody, but if you've been way too busy and too closed off, so you might miss that opportunity. That's what I'm seeing here. But if you do open your eyes, open your heart, will of fortune, put yourself out there, there could be a chance of you meeting somebody, right? It's still kind of, feels like most of you are just going to be like four of pentacles, eight of pentacles, just focusing on yourself. Um, but it doesn't really matter, the will of fortune, the will can spin right back to where it used to spin towards, okay? So some of you, maybe it's just about timing. Well, fortune can you get timing, being at the right time, in the right place. Ace of Wands here is in reverse. Three of Wands, Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like somebody is going to be longing for you, wondering how you're doing. This is someone you have rejected or they have rejected you. Someone you have given up on with the Five of Swords here in reverse. I still see a lot of closed off energy, just, you know, whatever will be, will be, that kind of an energy as well. Uh, will Fortune, some of you, if you do go on dating apps, okay, online dating apps, Fortune can indicate the World Wide Web. I feel like if you are currently active on dating apps, I see you kind of weeding out potentials or non-potentials rather. It's like so many options, but not all options are like, eh, that I feel can is safe for you to open up, okay? That's for some of you. Here we've got the judgment, four of cups, Six of Swords, Five of Cups, the Tower here. Huh. So for some of you, it could be in the next seven days, you may hear from someone, yeah, judgment, someone from your past. It could be just a fling, it could be an ex, it could be somebody, but you will hear from somebody from your past, okay? And then Four of Cups feels like you're not going to be that interested. It could possibly be someone from your past that you don't really want to hear from. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those people that, ah, uh, I don't want to hear from this person. I was hoping to hear from another person, right? So that's for some of you and Six of Swords, because you've already moved on from this person, you're done with this person, so you might hear from this person. It could be um, just them liking a picture of yours or you know, commenting on something, something small. It could be something small, something bigger, where they will probably call you or send you a message. Whatever the case is, it feels like water signs, you're, you're going to be like, eh. Uh, of all the people, like of all your exes or all the people that you had a history with in the past, this is the one who is like reaching out to me. I wish it was someone else or another person. That's what I'm getting here. So far, cups. Yeah, I got to feel a little bit disappointed because it's, it's not the person that you really, truly want to hear from, okay? But also, for some of your water signs, there could be an apology coming in. Someone expresses himself or herself to you, saying that they, they're disappointed, they're sad for what they have done to you in the past. Six of Swords perhaps would like to move towards Kama Water. And the tower here indicates this is an unexpected call, an unexpected message, or unexpected interaction in some way shape or form okay yeah i still feel like what is like this is someone you separated from and most likely you don't really want to hear from them uh, from this person 
but this person is going to reach out and the three of wands here. I still see what it's like if you're not putting yourself out there, it's just focusing on yourself, on your work, you know, three of wands. Feels like you still could be just waiting, yeah, waiting, you know, for the right moment. It might take longer, although the three of wands can indicate the ship is sailing in soon, but the Four of Cups right next to it kind of makes me feel like your ship could be sailing in much sooner than later if you're open, because the Four of Cups is also a very picky energy, right? Pickiness. For those of you, if you're really picky, yeah, then you might still remain closed off in the next seven days when it comes to love. I see a lot of you just focusing on your work, on yourself. Some of you are traveling with fortune or just being online, just online talking to someone, but just uh, an energy of, uh, I don't want any of these people. <laughs> and also you might hear from someone that you don't really want to hear from, from your past. It's, it comes off as unexpected though with the tower. So unexpected um, message from someone that you're going to hear. Some of it's hearing about someone from your past, and some of it's literally hearing from that person itself, okay? What a science, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, this is your reading, and I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to both of my channels. Chelsea Love Tarot is my original channel. I post individual sign readings, collective readings with different topics, different questions. And Chelsea Tarot 2.0 is my latest um, latest channel, but I only post once a week, okay? Individual sign readings. Take care of all signs. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.